Well, welcome to the CTA Foundation's CES 2021 interview series. Uh, my name is Henry Shirelli, and I am a Consumer Technology Association Foundation board member. Uh, I'm also honored to be a member of the Consumer Technology Hall of Fame, but I'm even more honored to be joined today by Nikki Austin Shipp. Uh, Nikki is the CEO of SOFIA, which is the South Florida Institute on Aging. So Nikki, welcome and, and thanks for sharing your time today. Thank you so much for having me, Henry. I appreciate it greatly. That's terrific. Uh, Nikki and I were just talking. I, I have personally I had the privilege to visit and participate in, in a number of um, SOFIA sessions and events over the past few years, and I have been very impressed. Uh, your organization is doing some uh, just remarkable things within the aging community. And not only in South Florida, but uh, you're also recognized uh, as a leader in the innovations in aging space throughout the entire US. So uh, let's, let's start there and let's start out by sharing with our viewers uh, some of the work being done by Sophia. Well, Sophia has been around South Florida Institute on Aging for 55 years and the work with our aging community just continues. Throughout the pandemic, we have been able to pivot um, which speaks directly to our focus of think, act, and thrive for our seniors. And that is what we have been able to do. We have a number of programs here at SOFIA that span from RSVP, which are the retired and senior volunteers, to foster grandparents programs, as well as SOFIA Care, Legacy Corps and Relief. But specifically for you all, SOFIA Tech would be the biggest one for you all of focus. No, that's terrific. So Nikki, I, I suspect that there's a lot of folks that'd be very interested in knowing what caused you to get involved in, in taking a leadership role in the aging community. Well, it's funny because I am older than I look. Um, and so that's the first thing I always share, Henry. I'm very yeah. flattered by that, but I definitely am older than I look. Um, however, being born uh, the youngest daughter to older parents when I was born, my dad was 45 and my mom was 40 and I have two older siblings, uh, 17 years and 14 years older than I am. And so growing up like an only child, I have always had a special affinity for seniors. Just came naturally for me. I relocated from Dallas, Texas to South Florida in 2014 when my dad passed away suddenly at age 86. And so my mom at that time was 82 years old and they were married for 61 years. And my mother is still living um, and doing very well. She just turned 88 in September. And so for me, Sophia is not a job. It's more of a calling and something that I wake up every morning and I'm not exhausted saying, oh, I have to go to work today because it really doesn't seem like work. It truly feels like a purpose. Well, that's a terrific story. So uh, the CDA Foundation has been thrilled to, to support Sophia's technology uh, oh, oh, their tech education work program actually over the past few years. What, what other ways does technology play a role in, in the programs at uh, Sophia? Oh, wow. So technology spans across all of our programs. Um, one, of the, one of the funniest stories that um, actually make my, makes my heart skip a beat is seeing all of the grandmothers on Zoom calls um, having a meeting together. And when they log on, they are saying, hi, this is Grandma Susie checking in. This is Grandma Joan checking in. And so just hearing that before I even join them on a call has just been just overwhelming for me. Because what we do know about our aging community is that seniors can learn anything that anyone else can learn. It's a matter of them learning different and someone being patient with them taking the time to do so. With Sophia Tech, We've, we've had almost 500 older adults graduate from the Sophia Tech in-person program, which is amazing. And because of this one program, it has caused us to look internally and say, okay, should technology span across all of Sophia? Well, the pandemic helped us to think of that quicker. So yes, it is now spanning across all of Sophia in every aspect. We have over 500 tablets, that we will be giving out to our volunteers um, when we return from Christmas. And that is for them to stay connected and continue to do the volunteer work here in our communities. Well, you just mentioned it. So let's, let's go down that path just for a second. Sure. Yeah, 2020 has obviously been a very challenging year for all of us. Uh, and how have you been able to adapt your programs 
to allow for the whole remote learning thing because a big part of yours is is older adults uh, teaching older adults, right? Yes, yes. And so our oldest volunteer is 91 years old, <laughs> which just amazes me because my goal is to be 100 years old um, and still in good shape and a good mind. And so, you know, that's the goal for all of us, Henry. You know, it really disturbs me when I hear um, people throw seniors away or after a certain age, they should not receive the vaccine. I actually heard someone say that. Wow. And it, it made my heart break because we are here today because of people like yourself. Um, if it weren't, if it had not been for you all, we wouldn't be in the position we are on today. And so you don't just throw people away because of their age. You invite them, you engage them, and you encourage them, which is what we do through our programs at SOFIA. And of course, peer-to-peer -peer learning is the best way to learn. So even with teenagers, we know that's true. But guess what? We know that with seniors, that's true as well. And so we have been able to, by using the tablets, which is, you know, of course, smaller than a laptop or in not maybe not as intimidating for our seniors. Um, it's more, you know, a 10 and a half inch tablet is a little bit different than all of these buttons on a laptop. And so they have definitely welcomed the opportunity. Many say that it's something that they have always wanted to learn to do, but pre-COVID did not have time to learn to do this. And so it's been a wonderful experience watching their accomplishments uh, virtually and through technology. You know, that, that's terrific. So although virtually, here we are at CES 2021, uh, so be the technology that your organization uses day by day. Are there any emerging technologies that, that you're looking forward to? Oh, wow. I, I, I'm a, I love gadgets. And so I'm a gadget person. Now, sometimes I, I have to wait until other people get the gadget because, of course, I do not read the instruction manual. But, but, I, but I love gadgets. And so while they, there are things that, you know, from a technological standpoint, I really am looking for how to continue because just because we have a vaccine does not mean we will return to business as usual. What I believe will happen is that employees, all of us will have a different opportunity to engage in work and be productive. And so I'm, I'm interested to see how that dynamic is going to come together um, for technology after the uh, vaccine has been distributed. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a challenge, and I think you're right, actually. So, where can people go to learn more about the whole South Florida Institute on Aging? So it's t h e s o f i a dot org. It is. It's tricky. South Florida Institute on Aging. S o f i a. Yes, and it's the Sophia with our website. Yeah, and I would I would encourage everyone to to check it out because it's uh it's it's really special. Absolutely. Yeah. And for the and, audience, and, you know, and you know, Henry, at the end of the day, we want people to understand that um, a lot of times we hear the dismal stories about aging um, and respite care that's needed. And, uh, and that is needed in the world. However, we have a lot of seniors who are thriving. And that's the message at the end of the day that we want people to be encouraged that it's not all doom and gloom after a certain age. It's definitely about think, act and thrive. Yeah, as I remember during my visits, the, the testimonies of some of the, the uh, uh, older folks, they didn't want to just be striving. They wanted to be thriving during those yes. years. So that's, and that's, that's your mission. I mean, that's, that's a terrific mission. So Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, uh, Nikki, thank you very much for being with us today. That's, that's a great story. Um, anybody who might have some interest in learning more about the CTA Foundation, uh, can go to uh, ctafoundation.tech, T-E-C-H. And we thank you for being with us today. No, Henry, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you soon in person uh, for, for joining us at Sophia with our next project and initiatives. We're glad to do it and look forward to it. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you.